Hello, I'm Lin Mimi Strobel and welcome to episode 17 of my Arithmetic 2 series playing on the FTOG server and this is where we left off last time although it's been a while <laughs> um, I've collected a bunch of um, draconic dust here and I actually made 14 dragon eggs already so I think for now these are disabled I just boxed them up all I don't need anything. I don't need any more of the royal jelly for now. So, or, or wisp, you know, we got my suit here. Um, I did have an issue with the, with the ring bees. They just would not give me the drops, which they're doing now, I'm happy to say. But all of these drones were produced uh, as it was running the cycles without any withering skeleton bone chips nothing and i'm like why not you're running it's just and somebody said oh you put uh, skulls on so i went to the nether on a quiet day and got us a few skulls and put them around here nothing 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 and yeah i need a hell emulation upgrade and that nobody told me that well i i did a heat upgrade it was happy with the heat upgrade to to run through the cycles but it wasn't producing anything and i eventually found out by using the vanilla well vanilla forestry ap apiary uh to see if that would work and of course it has to be set up in the nether so i did and i got the drops and then i thought well maybe the industry apiaries work in the nether and they did and then i was okay so it needs nether well, but there is a hell emulation. Let's try that. You can see they're actually dropping quite a lot even before the cycle is done. Because this is only done one cycle. This is only done one cycle. And I had about, I think, 28 from the nether trips. Um, and so there's a, at least a stack here since they've been back. And, they're, you know, they've not even done another cycle and a half. So, happy about that. Happy about that. But that's it, that's it for the bees. That is it for the bees. I, oh yeah. I wanna have a look at Astral Sorcery. I'm gonna start with Astral Sorcery. And we're just gonna tell the quest book, I'm starting Astral Sorcery and it's like, okay, thank you. So the first things we're gonna need is a luminous crafting table and a resonating wand. And for that, we need I was gonna say, don't I get the book? I want the book. Um, and this will tell you that for the resonating wand, you need to have light shining on it, and you need some special crafting table. Um, and also for the luminous crafting table, you need a special crafting table. So let's go and grab some stuff. So. I'm going to take, I'm going to make two crossing tables and then I need the luminous, luminous crossing table, that one, and I want the, want, resonating want. Okay, I don't need this or that right now. This is what I want, so I need some marble. Aquamarine and Ender Pearls, Sooty Marble, Marble, and okay, that's easy enough. Uh, Ender Pearls, bring some. Uh, do we have Aquamarine yet? We don't, but I know that from our Void Ore Miner, we have gotten Aquamarine Shale. It's a type of sand, as you can hear by the placement, although I'm a bit surprised about the texture. I wonder if that's Optifine. Maybe, or it's a resource pack. That's rather ugly. I'm not gonna lie, that's rather ugly. Uh, my luck. Medoc. Uh, we have 
<laughs> we have for now, we have more than enough uh, aquamarine. Uh, let's drop this off in a drawer here somewhere. And just take one stack with us. Now, we need to find astral sorcery structures in the world. Now, this looks like it, but it's not. I mean, it's got the marble, and I'm ha gonna happily steal all the marble, but it's not an actual structure that we were looking for. By the way, if you're ever looking for hives, look for them at night, because they glow. They all glow down here. There is one of these smaller structures, and it's already been raided. Because the chest is exposed and it's probably empty. Ah, oh, not empty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out the structure so nobody else has this disappointment and look for some new ones. This one seems to be intact so let's take it down and let's see if we can find a chest. Right here. And nothing useful. Well, it has this. Oh, I was gonna say, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Can't you see I'm recording here? Ah, this is what I was looking for: constellation papers. Also, I'm running out of inventory because I ran into a few bad guys, but I'm picking up. Let's see, I've got Evitas, Visio, and Constellation Paper A4 Show. Now these don't, um, oh, too much stuff. I don't need you right now. I don't need you right now. Um, these actually don't get a Constellation to pick them up and depends on who's gonna pick them up. And what Constellation they've already uh, discovered. So. But that's good. We need uh, we need a bunch more of those, and I'm running out of room. So by now I'm getting constellation papers that are not uh, known. So I know five constellations right now, or at least I know the papers. Right, I can have a look at them. This is what the for sure looks like. But that's it. The other ones currently have nothing on them. But as I will progress with my astral sorcery, they will appear. Also, if I shift right click, I can put them all in here uh, that are known. And you can see I've got room for plenty more. So I'm gonna keep these, um, you know, because I will need them later on. And this is what I was really looking for, which is the big structure. And this is where we're going to have to start. So let's make our way in. Um, probably here would be a good way. Make our way inside because we need this crystal here. This is the astral sorcery crystal. And also there are some chests here. So more constellations that we don't know yet. Um, now, and this structure I'm actually not going to break apart because other people will use the same crystal. Right, so we're gonna place down our crossing table. Now we need, let's see, two marble. I'm just gonna get these. I think it's this. And we get our resonating wand. It needs to use a light from the crystal, so you have to place it nearby, and you can actually see that's where it's going. And did I bring sooty marble? I did not. But with the magic of editing, I did. Okay, so I can make a, a luminous crafting table, because that too needs starlight. Well, being provided right here from the floating crystal. Oh. And this is what we need to continue at home.
Okay, just getting up my inventory, and one thing I also found in one of those huts with the thatch roof is a witch spawner, so I took her home with me. Um, so I have a few constellations for later. I have the Luminous Crafting Table and the Resonating Wand. I uh, actually don't need any of this right now. And I do want to get my Fossic Resonator. Um, I probably can make one. Mm, or maybe not. No. Well, I could make one in Luminous Crafting Table, but I need Liquid Starlight. So it's not an easy thing to craft. And I got two in my um, quest rewards. Now, all we need now is for it to become night. And now that it's night, <coughs> this tool can actually work. So, what it what it will do is it will show us concentrations of starlight in the area. So, try to stick away from from bad creatures and all that. But what we're gonna try and find is astral sorcery particles. Now, if there's one thing that astral sorcery is known for. It's the particle effects. I mean, it's really one of the prettiest mods in the pack. In oh, maybe even one of the prettiest mods in general. Um, <coughs> for for um, Minecraft. Now, what you can see here is the effect that I was looking for. This is a good spot. This is where a lot of starlight comes together, and. You know, this is where we should be focusing and where our altar should be, really. Right. So, now we know that, now we can move on. Okay, making sure there's no bad guys around here. I've set up a recipe here and you can see there's plenty of starlight already in this area. And I'm just going to smack it with the wand. And then we'll see what happens. Okay, that seems to be working. Now we're just going to wait for daytime. And hopefully that's going to do something cool for us. Oh, you see something else here. These white sparks, they show us where crystal is hidden underneath, almost near bedrock. But we'll go looking for them later. This is where we're gonna do astral sorcery. 
in the sky, looking at the stars, and you know, quite high up. We're at Y195. That should be good for astral sorcery. Uh, but it is a bit of a pain to get up here. So there's something I wanted to do for a while, and I'm gonna do that now. Also, it is quite dark here, but at some point we'll light that up. There is a <laughs> mega torch right underneath here, as you can see. But at some point we'll light this up. Uh, this is actually where the um, center of the astral sorcery energy on the ground level was, right here. That's why we planted this flower slightly further in that direction. And you c well, of course it's night, it's usually full, but even during the day, it's quite good. And I made a white diamond shulker box for our astral sorcery stuff. Um, that's I think that's much better. And here, there's a few bugs, there's a few things here and there I need to fix, so. But um, yeah, I'm gonna make something to get us up here more easily. By the way, I do hope you liked uh, the two minute montage uh, of the growing flower. Uh, I sp first of all, I built this in, in creative initially, and that's why I had all those sheep, ah, see? Uh, issues, small issues. Uh, that's why I had the sheep to get all the wool, and it's also why I had the um, void ore miner, or f yeah, void ore miner getting me glowstone. Because many of these blocks, these are wool, but this is actually in here, it's painted glowstone, and I will show you how to do that. But that lights up the flower, otherwise, this would all be pitch black. This is Lynn from the future, uh, because while editing I realized I forgot to show you how to make the painted glowstone. So that was a bit dumb. Uh, it's really simple. You take a block of glowstone, you take any type of block that you want to use, for example wool, and the painter that we've already used for the facades, remember that? Put in that you want to make it look like wool, put in that you want to have glowstone, and now it's painted glowstone. And if I place it, it actually doesn't look like glowstone, but it emits light. So that's pretty cool. And if you want to turn it back to glowstone, you can paint them uh, like glowstone. And I have a bunch of them left over actually that I need to convert back. They're all in here. And also have a bunch of wool, so I'm going to get rid of my sheep. Uh, probably let them free, as far as you're concerned. Anyway, back to myself. Um, it took me about six hours to build it here in survival, and then it took me about 12 hours to render in replay mod the, the different bits. Uh, you can't really do too much in one replay mod um, rendering, because it can only be half an hour. Then probably about three hours editing in um, uh, DaVinci Resolve and uh, about two and a half days of work for a two minute time lapse but <laughs> I thought it was fun to do well and of course building the flower the six hours is not going to go to waste because we're going to actually use this for all the different astral sorcery stuffs. What I would like to make is a teleporting device. And it's one that many people have on the server, so it's good that we all use the same system. And we're going to transmit matter from one point to another. So we need a transmitter, and the matter is going to be received. Well, so you've seen me make these, by the way. It's going to be received as well. And then we're going to make a dialing so we can select where our matter is going to be sent to. And also, we're going to make sure our destination is safe. And I will start with that. So let's find a good spot to set up the. Um, I think this would. Would it be here? I think it would be here actually. Let's put it here. So the first receiver is going to be right here. And then I think the transmitter. Right here. 
And now that they're powered, I'm going to name them. So this is going to be the exit. And I'm going to make it public. Do we? Yeah, we can. We don't want to hide the beam, I think. No. And uh, this is going to be the base. Base. And it's public. So that makes it a lot easier. Now I need the dialing device and analyzer. I'm going to set them up right here. You get power and you don't need power. So, dining device, these are all the other uh, meta receivers, uh, yeah, in, in the server that are visible. This is my base. Uh, this is the bunker from Wolfpack. This is the uh, base for Aaron the Height, a heat. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Aaron, I'm not sure how to pronounce that with IE. Um, Pack Wolf. Some moon bases here, more wolf packs. Um, I expect claw, I expect grok somewhere here. Oh, the, the, the Gaia Stadium, that's a good one. And yeah, now if you select one, you check it and it says it's okay. And you know, especially with those at the moon or at, at other planets, if they run out of power and you try to teleport there, you die. So that's not good. What happens, this is the exit, which is the one right here, the one that we own. And I'm going to send it right now to dial my base once. And there it is, it's dialed. And it takes me to the base. So what I would like to do is have a matter transmitter in the center here. That's going to take us up to, um, to the top. So the center would be here, right? And we're gonna decorate this nicely. Something like this with the painted glowstone and marble to light it up nicely. And that's gonna be a departure. And a few blocks on here to fix. That's easy enough. And a receiver up here, which is gonna be LM Astral Sorcery. And why are you not getting power? Because I put you in art. Didn't I put. Oh, because you're not linked. You need to be linked. So, now we have a transmitter, a receiver here, and a transmitter at the bottom. So, let's set that up as well. We can use the same dialing device. Uh, we specify in this. Okay, it's not showing up here. That's kind of surprising. Okay, apparently dying devices can only look up to 21 blocks around them for transmitters. So I have to put one here and it's going to be the SL Sorcery and I'm going to have it here permanently dialed. Um, and that way, we can just come down here Walk into the beam, and you're up with the altar. Now, there are two more things I wanted to make. One is the charged porter, and basically that allows you to set a destination and go there. And you can turn that into an advanced charge porter, where you can have multiple destinations. So let's first charge it, because well, after all, it is a charged porter. And then it says, sneak right click on the receiver. So, set on a, oh, receiver. That's a transmitter. Very clever, Lin. So, we now have my base as a dimension. And we have a zombie over there. Actually, what I, well, no, let's not do that. Um, yes, it is what I want to do. Sorry. I'm just doing silly stuff here. Astral Sorcery, that once. And now we're going to sneak click this one. And we're going to have two receivers. And we can now switch between our base or Astral Sorcery from anywhere in the world. 
And you just right click it and you're home. No cooldown. Cool teleport effect, a bit loud maybe. But it can hold up to eight different locations, which is pretty cool. And yes, my transmitters and my receives are public, so anybody should be able to come up here and visit the base or visit the astral sorcery setup. Speaking of which, I need to get my resonating wand from here. And now we're going to look at what is night. Remember those uh, dots that we saw? Well, the particles that we saw coming from the air, like that one. What we need to do is mark them out on the map and then start digging for the crystals. So I've mapped out, uh, sorry, five crystals, well, more or less. And uh, let's see how easy we can find them. The first one should be around here. Ah, there it is. But I'm gonna make sure that we don't miss any others if they're more in the same area. Actually, I should put this on none. Oh, then I need to eat. Let's see how many we can find right here. Bunch of diamonds again, as always. But I don't think there's any more crystals. So let's get our luck pickaxe out. See how much we get. Five from one, that's nice. Maybe I shouldn't break them all with luck. Maybe I should break them at the astral sorcery area with luck. This one. Annoying lava everywhere here. This one has two, but they're actually next to each other, which is quite nice. Oh, I missed that. But even with Silk Touch, you don't get the ore. That's a pain. So I should use my luck on this one. Ah, right there. Just the one. Yeah, appears to be. But we did get a bunch of the crystals and I might go look for them later. Uh, we can drop them off in here for now. I just wanted to have them. So this is the start of Astral Sorcery, although we haven't really done much, but we've made an altar, we've made the resonant wand, we got some crystals and Next episode, we're going to get into the Astral Sorcery book and have a look at the stuff that we can do to progress. So, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please leave a like. If you have any suggestions, questions, etc., leave them in the comment section below. You know how it goes, right? Uh, but it really helps the channel, so I really appreciate that. And until next time, thank you very much for watching and take care. Bye bye.